Hey everybody, Paul Cameron here from speedupmyjobsearch.com and today I want to show you a process to uncover warm leads at your target companies. And a warm lead is just a, a person that you know uh, in real life who can introduce you to someone who they know who works within one of your target companies. And I have some free search tools that you can use to do this and if you find yourself running into that search limit on LinkedIn, I'm also going to show you a way that you can run more searches without hitting that limit so quickly within LinkedIn. And then even if you do hit the limit, one of my free search tools here that I'm going to show you is going to let you search all of LinkedIn, even the people that you're not connected to, and you can run that search as many times as you want. Right. And oh, by the way, uh, these can also help you to search all of Facebook to see if any of the friends of your friends work at your target companies. These are anonymous searches. They are unlimited and they're free. So let's get to work. Okay, so this is the page where we keep the tools. And if you're watching this from the future, uh, which you undoubtedly are, unless you're hiding somewhere in this room watching me record this, which I don't think you are, um, this page is going to change. Right now I have everything cleared off of the page except for the two boxes that are important. So when you come here later, if this does look different, you want to look for the search LinkedIn without limits and Facebook unlimited searches. These are the two areas that we're talking about here. I will eventually be adding links to uh, our national job board. We do have a national job board in which we've got a couple thousand jobs all over the country. You can search by state if you'd like. You can search by industry. You can do all sorts of things there. For now, we're just going to focus on these searches. So one thing that this program, this quick process I mentioned is going to require if you're going to find warm leads at target companies is you have to have a list of target companies, right? And we're also assuming that you have friends who work at places. And if you don't, that's a deeper issue for another video. Um, but the first thing that I would normally tell you is to go out to LinkedIn and do a people search for people, not companies, look for people who do what you want to do within your target area. All right. And when you come up with your list of people who do what you do in your target area, open up their profiles to see where they worked. And now you have a list of companies who hire people who do what you do where you live. But if you're running into the LinkedIn search limit, right, where they say, hey, you've reached your limit, you can't search anymore. Well, they are counting the number of profiles that you open, not the number of searches that you run, right? So when you're in LinkedIn and you keep opening up these profiles to write down all these company names, each one of those counts as a, a search, okay? So what I would recommend you do is you're gonna come to this page. Now come to this page under the LinkedIn Without Limits. It needs to be in a browser that you are not logged into LinkedIn, okay? So if you're logged into LinkedIn in Chrome, go over to Firefox. You can have that open at the exact same time same page here, everything looks the same, except you're not logged into LinkedIn in this browser. Okay, if you were to do this search that I'm talking about and you're logged in, it's going to count as an open for each one of them. So you come over here. So I am a recruiter. So let's say, and I've even got an example here, in quotes, IT headhunter, Wheaton, Illinois, and I have IL and then a little pipe and Illinois, that's in parentheses, this is like a Boolean search. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to run that search. Okay, now below, this is searching all of LinkedIn, not just the people you're connected to. Now, I will tell you the first few things are ads. My apologies, I don't know how to get rid of that. But underneath that, hey, look at this. Here's the top recruiter in Wheaton, Illinois. That's me. Now, when you open this up, I'm not logged into LinkedIn. As it says, sign in, right? You can look at my profile, see that I currently work at DriveStaff and speedupmyjobsearch.com, my previous companies, where I worked there, right? You can see that I'm a LinkedIn profinder. Scroll through, here's some articles that I put together. And you can go through and start writing down DriveStaff. Okay, DriveStaff, they hire headhunters, IT headhunters. Hmm, speed up my job search the founder. That's not an IT headhunter spot, so I can keep going down. Uh, recruiting manager. Hmm, okay, maybe I can run this search again 
with the title of recruiting manager because they're also going to have positions as IT headhunters prior to that or manager of contract staffing. You can go through all these positions and write down the company names as you're going through and now you've got a target list of companies. If you do want to do more research on an individual, as you can see, you can see lots of information here. You could, if you wanted to, take a look at my recommendations or anybody's recommendations and they'll list 10 of them before you get down to see the rest of them. So if you want to see 109 more recommendations, you can do that. It's not going to show you all of them. It's only going to scroll through just some of them. You can see I can't scroll through more because I'm not logged in. Okay, now I got to look through this whole profile and it didn't count against my search results. Okay, so now I've got my target list of companies. I'm going to go back to LinkedIn where I am logged in within, I happen to be logged in on Chrome. And now I can start looking for warm leads. The first thing I'm going to do, let's say I want to, I'm going to look up IBM, the company, not the people, not the jobs. I'm looking for the company this time. And you'll notice I've got 111 connections who work there. If I don't know those people directly, I'm going to go and do a Facebook search. Now, this is a search that nobody's going to know you're doing. And I will say you do need to be logged into Facebook on the browser that you're in in order for this to work. But you've got a number of boxes here that you can utilize. OK, so we can if you want to find somebody specific, just plug in their name and where they live and do the search and it will find that person. If you're looking by just where they live or the company and, and you want to do combinations of these title company lives in. If you wanted to find somebody who went to a specific university, for example, you can do that. If you wanted to find somebody who lives in your hometown and who went to that university, you can do that. If you want to find somebody who lives in your hometown, who went to your high school and then who went to a specific college, you can do that. These are all and statements between these fields. You can search by friends or people you don't know as well. Same thing here. If you can look through all these things, you can through all people or just your friends, however you want to do that. But here's the secret sauce. OK, you can find friends and friends of friends who work at a specific company. So if I wanted to just find friends who worked at IBM, that takes me to a new tab, opens it up. I know that guy or if I don't have anybody who works at that particular company, I can look through the friends of my friends at IBM, run that same search. And now these are all people who are friends with one of my friends. So this Tracy, I don't know who Tracy is, but I know Bob. So I can reach out to Bob and say, hey, Bob, I know you know this person, Tracy. Could you make an introduction for me? So this search page here can really go a long way to helping you. I hope that you use it. This is free. It's always going to be free. And we're going to keep making this better as we go. If you are looking for more strategic help to land a job faster, you know, a lot of times the, the stress of a job search simply comes from just not knowing what to do next, knowing if you're doing the right things or not doing the right things. We have, I've been doing this for 20 years as a recruiter, so I have to go find positions just like a job seeker, and I got to teach my candidates how to interview better than the other people who are interviewing for it. I have all of my tactics and strategies and tools inside of speedupmyjobsearch.com. I've got memberships that start as low as $9 a month. You can probably borrow that from your kids, <laughs> right? And 100% of the profits of this site go back into helping more job seekers. Finding a job quickly is not about rushing or hurrying. It's about doing things efficiently, which always brings faster results. Okay, so give this a try. It's time to get to work.